Hello everyone and welcome. Today is unboxing time and we have a power supply, laboratory power supply. Um, should be here. Let's open and see what we have inside. I bought different things. Sorry, I bought some stuff, other stuff apart from power power supply here. Hopefully we sent all of them. Packaging as you see it's not good but power supply it's a thing in the box and this is I'll come back to this later. And here is our power supply. It's made by Golfet CPS3205E. This is a new model. They have uh, this model without E, and this one should be uh, uh, 0 0.0001 resolution. So uh, previous one was 0 001. So this is this, this has two zeros, and previous one had uh, only one zero. Resolution. So it's we have a power supply manual, user manual. It's in English. It's in English. Yes. And as you see here, it has three zeros. So I mean, zero zero one resolution. Yeah, and and it is it has in it's in current mode and in voltage mode it has. Only zero, uh, one zero resolution. So, good manual, I think, so far. Cable. Cable, it's 0.5 millimeter. 0.5 millimeter. Uh, hopefully it's okay, but need to be replaced by uh, a good one, maybe 0.75 or 0.1. And here's a little guy is our power supply. And it's plastic. So this little guy is CPS 3205E. And it has from 0 to 32 volts and from 0 to 5 amps. So it's able, you can able uh, to regulate this power supply in the output from 0 to 32 volts and from 0 to 5 amps. So it has a switch between volts and amps. If you want to regulate uh, volts, you can push it up and regulate your volts. And if you want to regulate your amps and push it down and regulate your amps and it's uh, all current protect protection has inside, so if you want this, for example, if you want uh, up to one amp uh, in the output, just push down and set uh, one amp and set your voltage and it will, uh, it will draw no more than the set it uh, uh, amps here. So two, two buttons. Uh, personal, I don't like these buttons. They look nice by but if you want to push them to, you know, to, you know, you, you need to take, you, you press down and then push that to be able to, to regulate, to, to use that. So this is, this knob is pushable as well. I'll show you how to use it. Something inside, but hopefully it's, it's okay, it should be okay. So it has a switch in the back between 2 uh, to 30 and 150, 110. So you, if you want, if you are going to use it in 220 uh, mains, you have to switch that. If you are going to in US, so switch that to 110. So we use it here. And you switch your switch, power switch. And your output 
yeah and you're inside you know so this is let's try it and see Okay, let's go. Okay, it's working. Good. As you see, three zeros. Point three, three, three figures here. I see that's a, you know, my previous one, here you have one 3010 CPS 3010 model, but it's you know lighting red. It's lights on red LEDs and light red. But I think this is a green one, and the red one is better. So you see the letter uh, figures here in this model better than this. So I think the red one is better. Don't know why they change this color, but maybe it's a 10 amp. The 30 volt 10 amp, this is 30 volt, 32 volts 5 amp. Maybe they have different, you know, style or something. So it's a switching mode power supply. That's why it's a so small, uh, this small, that's so that small size. But uh, I take took this apart and it's very good inside. So it can deliver 10 amp with, with, with no problems. and. This will uh, I'll take that apart in the second video when I show when I show you the inside and construction, you know, schematics and as, and also and the rest of things. So let's see. Um, one thing that I noticed there is no power cables. Oh, that's that's not good. But I have some here. Let's try this. If you want to use that, you order power cable. Okay. Let's look. I put this. You can see that. Let me put these. And let's try. So, if you want to select the voltage, you know this, that the current figure that you can select here, you know, adjust with the knob, it's more lighter than the, than the rest. So you press it down and switch to the 10, and press it down to go to volts and it's tens. So let's go to one, let's do it five volts. Five volts and amps. Let's do it. Five hundred milliamp. So we press, and here you have exactly the same voltage in the output as it here. So it's well adjusted. Five volts exactly. Firewalls exactly. Let's check whether it has a our kind protection. We just, as you see, voltage goes down 0.22 volts and 0.5 point 
491 amps. So uh, 491 milliamps. As we set it earlier, it were at up to 500 amps. So as you see here, 500 amps, milliamps, sorry. And when we show the leads, you see it's not going beyond uh, the 500, that 500 milliamps. So overcurrent protection works well. And you have your uh, voltmeter here, where you, you know, accurate voltmeter and your amps. So overall, uh, this is a good stuff. Uh, it takes not much space on your bench. And it's, I'll put uh, down in the description below, uh, link to the, the store that I bought it. And uh, in the second video, I'm going to take it apart and look inside and construction and everything. So see you later. Bye.